Hello, my name is Keshwani. S K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving GRE math problems out of this book here. The official guide to the GRE, the revised general test. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 259 and today is our lesson number 163. Problem number 2 on page number 259. They give you a picture there which I have reproduced here and we are told in the problem that in this picture AC equals BC. AC we are told AC equals BC. Now listen before we worry about AC equals BC let's take care of the first thing first. We cannot do anything with this thing until we achieve first the one thing for before that. Let's call this angle A, small b, a small letter A, and let's call this angle B. What can we find out about angle A? We know that straight line makes 180, which tells us, and this has nothing to do, this has nothing to do with AC being equal to BC. It has nothing to do with it. This is completely entirely different. Here in this picture, we know that angle A plus 125 degrees equals 180 degrees because they make a straight line because they make a straight line right here 125 plus A equals 180 which implies which implies that angle A must equal 180 minus 125 we know that 180 minus 120 is 60 therefore 180 minus 125 would be 5 less 55 degrees so now we know that this is 55 degrees now the story is going to begin. We are told, we are told, that AC equals BC. In other words, in other words, we are told, it just implies that the triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle. AC equals BC. I'm going to draw them here so that you can see which two lines are equal. AC equals BC. This line here equals this line. This side equals this side. Which means, if that's the case, in isosceles triangle, if these two sides are equal, these two angles must be equal, which means angle A is equal to angle B. That's what that implies. That implies that because a triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle and AC equals BC, that implies that angle A that angle A must be equal to angle B, which we know equals 55. Voila. Because we just found out that angle A is 55. So this guy is also 55. This guy is also 55. So I'm going to take out this A and B because it's getting too crowded. And I'm just going to put down 55 degrees. So this is 55, this is 55. But well, that makes it very simple because now we can figure out the x because we know that the sum of the angles in a triangle has to be 180. So finally, we know that angle A plus angle B plus x has to equal 180. This is your angle A, this is our angle B, which means 55 plus 55 plus x equals 180, which means x equals 180 minus 110, bring 55 and 55, these two 55 on the other side, and x equals 70. Well, that's it. So that we answered first question, x equals 70. What else are they asking for? Oh, the next thing they want is y, which is very straightforward. We know that this this line makes a, this is a straight line. Let's see if I can find a different color. This is a straight line, and in a straight line, we know that this entire angle equals 180, which means y, which means y plus 55, y plus 55 equals 180. Therefore, y must be 180 minus 55. 
So we know 180 minus, didn't we do something like this before? Oh, that was 125. We know that 180 minus 60, 180 minus 60 is 120, therefore 180 minus 55, which is 5 less than that, must be 125. So there is your y, and here is your x. That's it, we're done. That's what there was. Now, if it makes it easier for you, the last thing I'm going to do before I close the video, I just thought of it, if it makes it easier for you, just for you to be able to see, because typically when we talk about the isosceles triangle, the problem here is that typically when one talks about the isosceles triangle or when one, one is watching, looking at the isosceles triangle, typically this side, which is not the equal side, is usually used as the base. So you have the base and then you have two sides that are equal to each other, which makes it very easy to see. I'm going to redraw it, I'm going to pick it up, we're going to pick up this triangle, we're going to pick it up literally, physically, we're going to pick it up and we're going to rotate it so that A to B becomes the base. I'm going to draw it here and then I'm going to close the video, that's it. As far as the work is concerned, we are done. So I'm going to draw it up here. I will draw it right next to it, as a matter of fact, so you can compare it. See, now I'm do, doing it on purpose, you see? Because pictures on the, on the exam, the, picture on the pictures on the GRE, as I always remind you, are not drawn to scale. What does, it, what does it mean when they say pictures are not drawn to scale? That is, they're very polite way of saying, what you see, it ain't what you're getting. It's not what you're getting. I know, I learned this ain't and I wanted to use it. So what you see is not what you're getting. Pictures are not drawn to scale. But here, we force it to look like what it's supposed to look like, which we can clearly see now that this side, right here, let's call it AC, A to C, and we know that A to C, we are told, equals BC. So if this is C, this must be B, and you can clearly see that this side equals that side. This is our angle A. This on the top, the x belongs to the c, you see x belongs to the c, so this is your angle x this is the angle b, the inside angle is angle b, right here and where does y belong? the y is right here so everything is same as before, everything is same as before except I drew it in the way that it makes it easier for us to see the whole thing and if you draw it like this Everything is very straightforward, everything is very simple to figure out because they tell you, what does it tell you? It must tell you something. They tell you that this angle right here is 125. You see how easy it is? If this angle is 125, then A must be 180 minus 125. 180 minus 120 is 60, so this is 55. If A is 55, if A is 55, then B is also 55 because this angle A equals angle B. Why do they... Why does angle A equal A? Why does angle A equal angle B? Because these two sides are equal. It's an isosceles triangle. So now we know angle A is 55. We know angle B is 55. Well, if you know angle A and angle B, we can figure out the x. X must be angle X must be 180 minus 2 times 55, which is 70. And once we know the x, we can. And then y is very easy to figure out. Y is 55. This is 55. We just found out. So y is simply 180 minus 55. Voila. 125. That's it. That's your y. So it's the same picture. We just, we just picked it up and we rotated it. That's all it is. Makes, makes it easy for us to see. I will see you tomorrow. Bye until then. Okay?